Hi folks, welcome to my quick rundown of how to install the Lamborghini Aventador mod for Grand Theft Auto 5 by FM4 and YCA Modder Group. Go check it out. Uh, this is for version 1.2, so a fairly straightforward mod to install. Uh, this mod will replace one of the cars, the uh, Zentador. Once you've downloaded the mod and extracted it, um, I extract my mods into a folder that I've called store in the uh, GTA 5 directory just so that everything's there. As you can see, and there's the Lambo mod there. I'm going to be using the mods folder as well to actually uh, do the modifications. So as you can see, I've previously copied my update folder, that folder there, and I'll be making the modifications to this file in the mods folder. Now I would recommend that you do back up your files of course, goes without saying, uh, although bear in mind that if you're using the mods folder, you theoretically already have a fresh backup, which would be your original update folder. But nonetheless, if you've uh, taken the time to install a lot of mods into your mods folder, you don't want to break those. So uh, just do a backup. Once you've got it up and working and you're happy, you can uh, delete the backup, I suppose. Now I'm cheating somewhat. I've got the README open here. So we'll start at the top. Car files. So we'll navigate to that path there. So inside our update folder within the mods folder, double click on that. We want X64, then DLC packs. Then patch day 3 engine, which is there. Then DLC RPF, then X64, then levels, GTA 5, vehicles RPF. So we're in a vehicles RPF and this car here, they're the files we're actually going to be modifying. So we'll click on a green button, just those three files there. Click open, and that's modified those in there. So if we get a readme file back over here, um, the next file we're installing or modifying is the Zentorno underscore mods.rpf, which is in x64wrpf. Now I've not previously modified this file, so I'm going to have to copy that over. And uh, we're in a main GTA 5 directory. And it's right down at the bottom there, x64wrpf. So I'm going to make a copy of that and put it in my mods folder. Do that if you right click on it, show in Windows Explorer. Opens up a Windows Explorer page. There it is. Right click, copy, and mods. And just paste it in there. Uh, close that down. So if we go up here, yeah, back in uh, Open 4, mods folder, there it is. X64W, double click on that. Then we want DLC packs. Oops, DLC packs. Or MP Business 2, which is that one. DLC, X64 levels. MP Business 2, Vehicle Mods. So there it is, that's a file we're replacing. Right click on that, hit Replace. And there it is, a modded file in our store. So we'll open that. That's replaced now, so that's that done. And the last thing we've got to do is a Vehicle Meta modification. If you've got quite a few vehicle mods installed, I haven't at this moment in time, but if you, if you have, what you don't want to do is drag and drop or just replace the vehicle meta file because if you've installed some other mods that have made adjustments to that vehicle meta file this file will overwrite those so the best way to do it can actually edit the file yourself make that adjustment for this car and it won't affect any of your other mods so i shall navigate over to that and uh, and do that our vehicle meta file is in update and then it's in update rpf dlc patch MP Business 2, Common, Data, Levels, GTA 5, and Vehicle Meta. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drag and drop that onto my desktop here. So this is a copy of it now. I've already set this to open with Notepad. In order to set it to Notepad, you can go to Open With, choose another app. And this is Windows 10, so it's a slightly different thing. Hit More Apps, and then you can scroll down, pick a program of your choice, but I choose Notepad. So there we go. So we're opening Notepad. Quickest way of doing this is copy that, that out of the way, edit, find, paste. It wants to be set like that, really. Find next. So there we go. Found that. So the thing we're changing is is, is Z which is here, and we just want to set that adjustment there. I want to change it from 655 to 570, so we'll delete that. 570, and 
click save. So now we can replace that file. Again, my drag and drop doesn't work irritatingly. So uh, replace and it's on the desktop, which is there. Vehicles matter. There we go. Open. And that, oops, and that's that done. So it's as simple as that. Now the next step is to go and make sure that it actually works in games. I'll see you in a second. Okay, let's take a quick look around this uh, Lamborghini in the light. I think it looks beautiful, to be honest. They've done a fantastic job on this. As you can see, you can get most of the the, uh, the mods. I love this big fat spoiler on the back. Almost whale tail. Um, as you probably see, probably now, cue footage, the tinted windows are currently a bit broken. These are actually tinted. It does tint the front and it also tints the lights ever so slightly. You can't really tell. It's the uh, the light lightest tint available. I've not tried the middle tint, but the, the limo tint is broken. I'll get in the car. And, yeah, it's the third person. That is literally the computer revving it. It's, they've done a fantastic job and it looks beautiful. Lovely orange interior. Hopefully that's helped you. If it has, click like, please share, and please subscribe. And stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto 5. Thank you very much. Take care.